Hello everyone. In this video, I am going to show you how you can add variations to variable products to your WooCommerce store. I am Aparna Singh from LearnWoo and let's get started. Well, assuming that you have the WooCommerce plugin already installed and set up, let's start with adding a variable product first. Go to WordPress dashboard, WooCommerce, Products. Now select the Add Product button. Add the title or name and description of the product. Enter the name in the title section. In the description, add a long description that explains the features and benefits of the product. Now add an image. Select the variable product from the product data box drop down. Now add attributes to use for variations. Now let's go to the attributes section. Use the custom product attribute drop down. You can also create a global attribute so which can be used by different variable products. But for this example, we will go ahead with custom product attributes which will be available only for the current product. Now click add. You can see that the screen has expanded here. So let's add size and color attributes. Next, here in the name section, type size. And further in values, type small, medium, and large. Now click on save. Repeat the same steps to apply another attribute to this product. So let's add a choice of color to the product. Now click add. When the screen expands, in the name section type color and then in the values type the colors of the products available. Like here you can see I have typed white and black. Now let's add variations to the product with the help of the attributes that we added. Go to the variation section in the product data meta box. Now here you can add variations manually or can create all possible variations which can go to up to maximum 50 variations. Now to add a variation manually, select add variation from the drop down menu and select go. Select attributes from your variations. To change additional data, click the triangle icon to expand the variation. Edit any available data. The only required field is regular price and sales price. Now once done, select save changes and now publish. Now this is how your product looks in the store. Now you can also create variations by choosing creating all possible variations option. For that, let's go to WooCommerce, Products, select the same product and click on Edit. Now let everything else remain the same. Just select Create Variations from All Attributes to have WooCommerce create every possible combination of variations from your attributes and their values and then select on Go. It will create a new variation for each and every possible combination of variation attributes up to maximum of 50 variations. Well, if you want more, then you have to run it again. Since we had two attributes created, size and color, these are the automatically created variations. Small black, medium black, large black, small white, medium white, large white. 
Now here you have to edit every variation one by one. So here for the first variation, click enabled, which is to enable or disable the variation. Click downloadable if this is a downloadable variation. Click virtual if this product isn't physical or shipped or shipping settings are removed. Now set the regular price for this variation and set the sale price for this variation when on sale. Now continue it for the rest of the variations as well. So now let's go forward with this variation and save the changes. Now click on publish. Once published, this is how your product looks in the store. You can see that every variation we set, the price we entered can be seen here. And that's all. This is how you can add variations in a variable product in a few simple steps. Do let us know in the comments if you could successfully add a variable product with the help of this video. If you liked our video, do give a big thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more videos like this. Thank you guys for watching. I'll be signing off and we'll see you in the next one.